you write the URL in the field target URL choose the database type and the injection type choose the HTTP method to be post once you do that the engine panel will be shown over here choose use your auto post the button will be enabled click button and you will be moved here and the left panel you can see the site you simply write what you're going to be searching for for example the word cycle you identify that this is the text box that might have the defect yes and this is the field submit once you do that the field finish will be enabled this is the advanced tactic so click finish start and the output will be button here the database name will be shown in here you simply click get tables all the tables will be shown over here you choose a table with good columns the columns will be listed down there you simply choose whatever columns you want press get data and all data will be shown over here insert the url in the field target url choose the http method to be post use auto post and click the enabled button you will see the screen to the left will be using the basic engine where you can see all the fields in the page you insert whatever you're going to be searching for and identify that this field is the field that might have the defect you do the same for submit the finish will be enabled you click finish start and the data will be retrieved by simply clicking get tables Now suppose we have reported data from any Tumblr data application. Then we will be using the manual technique where we will simply copy each variable name without the equality mark and paste it in the field variable name along with each variable value without the end mark. We do this for every variable name and variable value. After we do this for all the variable names and values we simply click inject here to identify the defected field then we click start to retrieve the data